favorite DC movies. Well, I have no reason that I just didn't I see it. Did yeah. you like this one then? It was. Um, what? You thought it was just no, okay? Yeah. I thought it was very good. There was stuff I liked about it. Though. There was a lot I liked about it. Like, remember we talked about one over 1984, there was stuff I liked in it. This movie kind of had that too. Like, I, lo- I still love the little girl. <laughs> yeah, she throws the best. So. Okay. Five, four, three, two, two, one. What's good, Council of Comics? We're doing Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Let's go. Black is like the brightest day. Where are the heroes? I like the movie a lot. The I, kid, was, the kids are great. I feel like the kids stole the show for me. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. they did in the first one, but more so this time. Megan Good, great show. Yeah. Oh, she's good, and the little girl that plays Darla. Both yeah. versions of Darla. I mean, I want a Darla yeah. movie. Give me a Darla. What do we? What do they do? What's the Disney Plus of DC? HBO Now or whatever. Yeah, Give me an HBO Darla series. <laughs> Give it to me, HBO Max. you know, HBO or, Max. or 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 Darla and Pedro. Give that to me. That's what I want. <laughs> This movie to me was better than the first one, and better than Black Adam. That's what I was say. Oh, it was better than Black Adam. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. I don't know. There, I had issues with Black Adam. I had issues with this movie. I mean, but I thought overall it was fun. So. Listen. Yeah. I got a little, little. I got a little. Choked up. A little bit choked up with the little mom scene and. That was kid. really. That was, was very like, well executed, and I say very well executed because. You could see it coming. You have to be good actors. It's got to be good directing, yeah, of course. Wow. But you've got to have the right actors to make you feel it, even though you know the it's guy, coming. The guy that plays Shazam, we love from what is it, Chuck? Chuck, yeah. yeah so <laughs> he's awesome as, as Shazam. Dude, I will say like, that. When he transforms back into Zachary Levi, yeah, the little wink in the head nod. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like, oh, that, that was really good. That was really good. <laughs> no, I feel like him and and Asher Angels I have spent lots of time together to kind of get like. A rhythm. A lot of people complained about Zachary Levi's performance. They're like, "Oh no!" Like the you know he, the kid actually playing young Billy is like so much. And I'm like, you know what? I, it's like I, more mature. Yeah, it's like yeah, more mature. But maybe. I'm like, no, no. because he re- he really wasn't. I'm like, I'm sorry, y'all are just hating on Zachary Levi because he's been problematic. I still think he's a nice guy deep down. Anyhow, um, I think they picked correctly. I, I do think Shazam. they picked yeah, correctly. He good. makes a great Shazam. I love what's her name. Uh, Mary Marvel? Mary yes, Marvel. Mary Marvel. Yeah. yeah. She stays the same. Like she does yeah, same. Right. She does They're right, because now she's, she's older. She's yeah. 18. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's, she's, it's been two years since the last movie. So she's, mean, actually, she's actually 20. Yeah. Yeah, because they make a point to say, you know, that was two years ago, and they make a point about, Billy, you're going to be 18 in six months. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, so like she's like twenty and like studying and be like, well, if I gotten to go away to college, well, two things, right? Like she did, you know, she felt like okay, there's no more state aid and all that other stuff. So that's why Billy thinks that he's gonna lose his home, right? Which and she even says to him, she goes, no, these guys are amazing, and they throw me out, they're not throwing you out either, you know. But you better come up with a plan for what you are going to do. Yeah. You're gonna have to contribute somehow. Yes, right. That's why I she think, has a job. She has to go to work. Her contribution was that she was gonna leave. Yeah, she was right. just gonna so go to school. No, but on top of it, so she, she, she was working. That yeah. was the whole thing. Like yeah, when yeah. she's turned it into Mary Marvel, it's like, yeah. but I gotta go to work, right? Yeah, 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 and then yeah. she's trying to have a little bit of a life too. She comes yeah. back, yeah, hungover. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's funny because she is a little older and a little bit because she's more mature than the rest yeah. of the kids. She is a little more together on like what she wants to do. But of course, because she is still young herself, she's like, well, yeah, I want to go out and yeah. party with my friends. Like, yeah. You know, the one thing I thought was hilarious was they were reviewing the powers of Shazam because the freaking magical pen, what, Steven, Steve, 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 Steve the magical pen. Steve. Yeah. Wrote out the <laughs> power, pen. wrote out the powers of Shazam for them. And they're like, yeah, we have all those powers except the wisdom of Solomon. Do, and none of us seem to have wisdom. And I was like, yo, that was so what great. Was wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. He's yeah, like, it yeah. And it was like, you can't even say it right. <laughs> You know, I love how she's like the intelligent authority on everything. Like, yeah. like she's not even the person who loves mythology, whatever. That's Freddie, uh, but she's the one like correcting him. She's like, it's it's Solomon, you know. Like, yeah, it's, they <laughs> changed the cave. Like, they turned it into a a hangout, a teenage cave. Like, there's lights all over the place. It's a pretty cool. Hangout. Giant, giant, big screen. Giant, big screen. All that. And basically, the movie is that Billy uh, wants to keep everybody together. 
He's like trying to keep them together by having meetings and getting them together. Like the beginning scene was dope where they say like, let's go save these people from a bridge. And then it was funny because they were like, oh, we can stop this bridge from collapsing. Oh, absolutely. And they, they can't. Sure they cut to the bridge already collapsed. Yeah. <laughs> but they did save those people, which was great. Yeah. Also, the lady playing the nurse yeah. is is the same actress who played Doctor Savannah's doctor assistant in the first one. She turns to Ash when yeah. he when he operates the magical yes. door. Yeah. So it's the same actress, except now she's in the car playing "I Need a Hero." You know, so dude, I totally am I saving you with this song? Yeah, and I was so happy. I uh, I uh, what do you call? It? I uh, I Instagram. I sent. I, I I responded to an Instagram post of hers, and Josh did too. I was like, I was so excited to see you, Fury of the Guys, and she liked me in Josh's comments. It was very. It made me happy. Um, she's um, super sweet. The villains, really Mira. good. Helen Mira. Helen Mirren Lucy, is amazing. Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou really delivered. I thought it the, the beginning scene fooled me. Like I thought it was two guys walking in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They made it's Helen Mirren and Lucy Lou. And then they took it off. It's them, and I'm like, oh. I thought that was really cool. And then how? Yeah, I thought those were like minions that they said. Yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. it was them. It was yeah. them. And um. She turns all the people in there into stone because her powers are element power. Element and element. And Lucy Liu has the power of uh, I don't know it's what it is. Chaos. Chaos. So, so everything she says spews chaos in your yeah. mind or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So they go to get the staff that was broken in Shazam One. Yes. And they they talk back about. It. He's like, you remember the staff? He's like, and they have a flashback and he breaks <laughs> he it. He breaks it. I just <laughs> left it there. I just left it's it like there. You just yeah. left it there. <laughs> um. So as it goes on. Uh, there's another sister that's part of them, and she's hiding out as like a teenager in like high school. And stuff. Yeah, the friends and, Freddy. And yeah, Freddy. big friends Freddy. This is Freddy's movie, by the way. Yeah, like this. The mo- the movie is like so central on him, and I don't mind. I and I yeah. really enjoy him. I think he's a great actor. Um, so like, but yeah, the movie just like takes this turn, like focuses on him. I'm like, well, look at that. Yeah, that's you know. A that's a um. So. The villains wanted to get the staff so they could kill their kill their world. Kill their, kill their world. Initially, that was yeah. that was cut off from our world yeah. through the magic of the wizards that were the wizard who gave Shazam his powers and his brethren. Yeah, yeah they cut um, him off from there. Yeah. So they they actually get the ability to do it, but then Lucy Liu turns on the other sisters because Helen Mirren character doesn't want to yeah she's just like i don't need to punish mortals like i'm like i want to restore our home i thought helen mirren's character was like the best like like balanced one and then of course lucy Liu was just a really good villain like no like they suck look what they did to us let's just freaking torture them make them suffer for this i thought the the younger sister's powers were great though trapped them on a dead world yeah like powers to make things move so she could always have like a way out or something like that that was pretty cool a way out or a way to con- conceal things. Yeah. Um, that so dragon that that like that yeah. produces that 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 emanates fear. That dragon was nice. That dragon was nice. That was, that made, was of made of wood. Made of wood. This movie was really really good. Yeah. Okay. So important things about Freddy, right? Freddy is the first to be captured. Um, when um, what's her name? Which she's Calypso, right? So Calypso is um. Lucy Liu's character, when she speaks words into his head to like sow chaos in his mind, his like eyes become dark and he's struggling and he starts spewing out nonsense, trying to fight her. Yeah. And for a so he's like what? He's like 17 and he is fighting off the power of a god, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like, wow, this is incredible. Then we find out about the fear dragon, and then later on, it's Anne versus her sister who's on the fear dragon, and she thinks she's gonna die. And Freddie again. <laughs> Moves towards the fear dragon, towards Anne, because he wants to protect her, and fights the fear. So this movie really focused on, like, Freddy has, like, a really, like, indomitable spirit, like, that is, like, is not easily crushed. I like that moment, too, though. Remember when Shazam pulls uh, the tail of the he, dragon? He pulls the fast one. And he's know. like, Freddy, Anne, what, Don't are do you, it. what are you doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. Stuff, right? yeah. yeah. She turns her head and he goes like, oh, he steals the staff. like, super speed. Yeah, I have super speed. He was great in this movie. Um, the end of the movie, like, that was, I thought it was pretty cool how he sacrificed himself to be inside the dome. 
Right. He goes to Helamurin's dying, yeah. dying spirit. She's like, just let me die. He's like, no, no. I can't. Like, please, you got to help me. And she's like, as long as I live, the dome is up. Yeah. Right? And uh, so, and she shrinks the dome intentionally to trap her sister around the Phillies baseball field. Mm-hmm. What's the name of that stadium? That's, is it Philly Stadium? That's no. It's the Philly Stadium. I, I guess so. Yeah. So they're trapped in there. Um, the parents now know that the kids are Shazams. By the way, so cute when they're all in the parents' bedroom and they're freaking out and the dragon is coming for them. And it's like, it's like, what are you trying to tell us? And it's like, it's like, we're superheroes. I'm gay. And it's like, oh, Pedro, buddy, we all know. And I'm like, oh. And then like the mother is like, yeah, we know. And I'm like, this is so beautiful. This is beautiful. Now the dragon's coming up through the from the floor. And um, so I was really happy with it, especially because this what movie. What called? The Phil. The Philly, Philadelphia Phillies, right? No, no, no. They're the Shazam family. They're calling them the like. Oh, the failures. Philadelphia, Philadelphia uh, fiasco. fiasco. Yeah, the fiasco. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> the horrible. Are like, yeah, yeah. At least there's the people who they actually save who do like yeah. love them. Um, so that was like a really great moment. I was happy the parents like found out. Oh my god! Immediately, the immediately the foster father was like, "Get in the battle wagon." We're calling this a battle wagon. I'm trying to get into the spirit of this. <laughs> so I love the two of them. At the beginning of the movie, all and the kids. And they had a wagon just like the original. The original Shazam is in this movie. He's on the, the street. That's the, guy, that's the original right? Billy. Yeah. The original the Billy. Billy is in red and yellow on the street. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um. You know what's funny? The original Billy Batson from the black and white serial is in one episode of Shazam, the Saturday morning show. Mm-hmm. So they, the two of them met. And now in this one, he met Zachary Levi, who played Shazam, but I'm upset because he didn't meet Asher Angel, who plays Billy. I'm like, dude, you played Billy. You met the guy who played Billy. You should be in a scene with the new Billy. Just me. That was the scene where he's like, what? You need a name. You should have a name. And he goes, yeah. Captain Marvel. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> that was good. Um, so the end... He, Billy Shazam, is trapped in the dome with the fear dragon and with Lucy Liu. Right, and, and because he's just the causing the electricity. Right, because the so thing like works flow. as a battery. The staff yeah. works as a battery. He wants to overcharge the battery. Yeah, and I thought the way he Make was going at the dragon, like yeah. his his acting and intensity, like trying to fight the dragon. I was like, this is great. Oh, can we talk about before he goes off to die? You know, like, because he says goodbye to the family and they're all like, oh my God, don't do this, don't do this. And he's like, because they're like, no, all or nothing or all or none. And he goes, no, all of you will be safe. None of you will be harmed. And I was like, what are you doing? But the scene before that where Shazam is like, all right, we're going to fight this thing. We're going to do it. And everyone else has lost their powers. Um, The stepmom is like, can you just be my Billy for a minute? So he says Shazam and he turns into Billy so that they can talk and she can tell him, you know, that she loves him. She's proud of him. And then like he steps away at the beginning of the movie, he did, movie, he did not call her mom. And then just before he transforms again, he, what do you say? He says, I love you, mom. Right. Yeah. And then that's it. He's just Shazam. Now I actually got emotional because the scene was really well acted, but this is such a mirror to Billy's abandonment in the first movie where he finds his birth mother and she straight up tells him, I saw you with those cops serving you hot cocoa and I thought they could give you a better life than I can. And that was it, you know? And I was just like, so like that was like weighing on me when I'm watching the scene. I'm like, this is just beautiful. (laughs) And then back to the arena, he overcharges. It's amazing. Right, but everyone dies. Everything inside dies. Everything inside the thing dies. He dies. Um, so they're just really sad. They go to the the realm of the gods, the realm of the gods because the portals still work. Yeah, and they bury him there, and um, they, they, they said like we can't bring and anything then, back to life. And then Darla, it. by the way, Darla, amazing this movie. Um, so like Darla's one says, well, like won't this won't the spark ever return? Won't the light ever return? And then that's when the wizard is like, well, it it can't. There are no more gods. Right, because Anna lost her powers yeah. earlier. Anna! 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 No, she, I thought that was hilarious. I, I, it was so crazy. good, though. I thought it was perfect because you just see her. You just see yeah. her boot, and then the walk. Yeah. So Wonder Woman comes in. She grabs the, the staff. It, it it goes and reignites reignites the spark of the gods. Look, we're about to do a, a thing. Ready? Shut it. Lightning, um, thunder. Yeah, do yeah, some wow. lightning and smoke. Yeah. <laughs> so 
Shazam gets brought back to life. Yeah. As Shazam, even though he As died Shazam. as Billy. Yeah. But you know what? Shazam. She's restoring magic to the god realm. Fine, yeah. I'm I'm totally in for it. So and they're all good. They they And he wants to hit on her, he's got a dead spider in his mouth. Because he's been dead a few days at this point. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, I was yeah. like, wow. Well, and the other thing is, of course, when he comes back, he's like, you couldn't wait five minutes? Like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, dude, it's been days. Like, yeah. you need to chill. Like, this is devastating for everybody. And, you know, they rebuild the house, and that's pretty much the end of the movie. Yeah, they're in the process of rebuilding the house, and they have rules in the house, yeah. including no shazamming in the house. Yeah. Right? I thought that was hilarious. Well, I was gonna say, that's why the electric. That's why. Right? You know, he's been like, damaged the house. Yeah, he's like, this house is constantly being hit by electricity. <laughs> yeah. Why? Um. One fun moment that I don't think we talked about was the unicorns. Yes, they're the most savage and evil creatures. creatures. (laughs) Well, according to according to To the the wizard, wizard, he goes, "There is, there's, they are the unicorns of the king of the beasts." Yes. So yeah, they're the the one thing that all of the other mythical creatures will bow down to and fear is the unicorn. They love love ambrosia. Yes, it's very sweet. I guess thing of the gods. It's the food of the gods. uh, Megan Goods character it's like skittles. skittles i got it product placement like crazy throughout this movie you know what skittles. when product placement is done well i will allow it and i felt like, skittles like, was used like well pieces with et yeah right? exactly like, it was the idea was of like, like this is what we've got so and it's a little skittles girl for the unicorns and they love it and stuff but when they're riding and she's like taste the rainbow <laughs> mother <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good that was um, great credit scene so and credit scene number one, the James Gunn's wife character from Peacemaker, we and gotta learn her the, name. the tall guy with the beard character from Peacemaker. Who were both in Suicide Squad. Yeah. And they also looked, I don't know, they just got out of place to me in that whole yeah, scene. Well, because, well you, I, I don't know if you read the news today, but the so news cool. was, uh, number one, that um, The Rock said absolutely not to a cameo at the end of his film from... Um, from Zachary Levi, and then they said, "Okay, well, let's we're going to use some JSA characters for an after credit scene in Shazam." And he also said, "Absolutely not, not." So they had to grab these two characters. No, I think yeah. they're 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 cool because they are they're like a tie. Like no, they, um, no, it, it, in, is, it is it is cool, but, but I'm saying the through. reason why it's them. It would have been is, more characters, yeah. but it's just them. So they're walking through the woods, and Waller sent them, and they're like, "Ah, oh, I can't believe we got to ask this guy to be on the team." He's so immature, blah, blah, blah. Well, they know he's and, a kid. Yeah, and they show up, and Shazam is, like, shooting L- he Lightning bolts to blow up bottles. Lightning and all that. And they're basically like, we want you to join the Justice. He's like, I'm in! He's like, oh, I've been waiting for this moment, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, the Justice Society? And he's, and he's like, he's like, who's that? Yeah. <laughs> you could have come up with a better name, like, right? Yeah. There's already a Justice League, and it's got Wonder Woman. That's what he has, too. He's like, the one with Wonder Woman? Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they went a little far with the Avengers League. Yeah, that was funny, though. Yeah, I was like, eh, it's a, little, a little much for that. Um, but it, I think it hints at possibly Shazam being in the Waller show that's coming up or Peacemaker season two. Right. Yeah. So, or surviving the Flash. Surviving. I think Yeah, the next movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think exactly Levi's. And the whole. Well, I mean, Mar- they said, Marvel right? Family. Rock is going to be Black Adam, just there won't be a Black Adam, too. So. I, I guess I just wouldn't be so so butter about the whole thing if it wasn't about my pre- losing my precious Henry Cavill, you know. Yeah. So yes, I hope that all these other characters survive. Yeah, like a, uh, you know, the Rock th- is going to get himself humbled severely if it hasn't happened and already. They'll come to him in his humbled state, like, all right, we ready to come Let's back, suit back and, on. and do this the way we want to do this, and he's going to be like. Yeah, because The Rock loves everybody, and The Rock is down for everything, and he'll be back in either Shazam 3 or, or the... And Gal Gadot, too. I mean, you know, there probably won't be a Wonder Woman 3, I guess, but, like, I think... Yeah, but it, the, she while, needs to be guess, back. She needs to come back, and be, she needs to stick around and be like, yeah. I'm still Wonder Woman, folks. Well, in this movie, too, I mean, you know, she, she's a god. She'll, After Wonder Woman, she's a god, right? There's so. a rumor <laughs> that she'll be back in a later season of the new show. Of the Amazon show that James Gunn oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she'll be in later seasons. How she got birth, how they, they made her and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that was Shazam! Fury of the Gods! Oh, second end credit scene, real quick. Uh, the <laughs> oh, Dr. Savannah in jail. Dr. Savannah with, uh, what's the guy's name? Mr. Mind. Mr. Mind. I thought so. He's like, I've been here for two years! He's like, well, 
you know, it takes me a long time. I to have to things. inch my way he's everywhere. Like, By the way, I have to go do something right now. And he turns and walks and I'm like, yeah. He's not gonna be back for another five two years. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did it. That was the other thing. Of course, they teased Mr. Mind at the end yeah. of the first movie, and Savannah's still alive. So yeah. it's the idea that, like, of course, oh, Mr. Mind is gonna be this big threat that, like, he is in the comic to get Captain Marvel. But um, you know, they didn't go that route, obviously. So at least it was a good explanation to why. Well, why didn't we see that little guy again? Was, yeah. yeah. So. All right. That's Shazam Fury of the Gods. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below. Please like and subscribe. Remember, we have tons of other videos and reviews on the channel. So check all the playlists. We didn't do our out of 10. What did you give it? I'm giving you a 7.5. That's really funny. I'm saying fine, very fine. 7.5. I'd give it an 8.5. Oh. I thought it was really good. Um, I could see I could see where Sam's coming from because it is more cohesive yes, that's, than Black Adam. Yes. Um, Nothing seems out of place like it's a one cohesive movie nothing's jarring to me and that's yeah. why I found my place. you know and i mean black adam has a special place in my heart only because dr fate oh, is so good the part about this movie right <laughs> helen mirren helen mirren so they get to make the fast and furious jokes and yes. it's all about family <laughs> yeah exactly this movie is about and, right, it is right? because it's her family it's her because she's her talking family. about her family yeah. and he's like i want to protect my, my family, family. Yeah. so yeah it is all about family the both, both shazam movies of course is what they're about so right. but yeah, so I thought that was pretty, yeah, pretty fun, know, clever use of Helen It's Mirren. all about family. Just like <laughs> we're here at the Council of Comics. The Council. The Council. Oh, my God. <laughs> the we don't need that. The Council of Comics family. So from our family to you guys out there, we want to thank you for watching. We love you, and we'll see you next time.